story. I was living as a single mother with the boys, and I just thought that I, could, I didn't need a man because I could make my own money. You know, I have bought my own house. As Nana told me, you could only move to Slauson, right across the street from Ladera Park near Windsor Flores. And all of a sudden, smoke started coming out of my engine. <laughs> My engine was on fire because I have gotten to replace the cap on the oil receptacle. So the oil has spewed out all over my tubing, everything, and my engine was on fire. Do you know that Hermes did not hesitate? He was like eight, nine, or ten. He hopped out of the car. He ran all the way down the hill on Slauson in the middle of the street to the intersection of Slauson and La Brea, and there was a fire engine that was making a left-hand turn. The light turned from red to green, but I don't know how little areas commandeered their attention. They made a U-turn and came back and extinguished my fire. And do you know what? I was able to turn the car on and keep on driving. I didn't need to call triple A. Not a hose was busted. You know what I'm saying? And so I think that that's what I want to tell you guys now, okay? Our engine is on fire now. We're burning, but we're not destroyed. And just lastly, I want to say that Hermes was legacy. I feel as though, you know, when we had our closure conversations, my mother and I are very intuitive. We have a knowing of the coming and the going of death. And so we knew that death was coming to our family. My mother and I, we discussed it many times. So many times that we discussed it in the presence of Khalil. And my mother said that she had been praying that God would take her because she was the last of nine siblings. Her four brothers and her four sisters had predeceased her. My father is gone, my brother is gone. My mom said just about all her neighbors have passed on. So she said when she talks to God, she tells him, I've lived a good life. I'm not afraid of death. So whenever you're ready to take me, I'm ready to go. My mother was so, she was so, that was her message. She's a, a junior pack rat, and I'm a senior, I mean, she's a senior pack rat, and I'm a junior pack rat. She's collected so much stuff in her house at her bedroom, you stub your toe, just trying to walk from the door to her bed. So she said she's not going to sleep in her bedroom because the paramedics would have too hard of a time getting to her there. So Nana has actually been sleeping on the day bed in her dining room because she thought God was going to answer her prayer and take her first. But that was not God's divine perfect order, you see. He took Hermes. I think of Hermes, and I think that Hermes knew, and, and we knew too, we knew too. Um, Hermes, he was the kind of person that, he was very busy and, you know, had a lot of things going on, and I would text him, and he wouldn't answer all of my texts. And I would call him, and he wouldn't answer all of my calls. But all of a sudden, Arius started texting me, hey, Mom, I love you. I'm just sending you some positive energy for your day. I hope that you have a beautiful day. I felt spiritually in my soul as if Hermes 
was going to leave. And we had, we had a closure conversations through text messaging with one another. Um, and I think that Aramis is new too, because Aramis was doing things differently. My mother said that Aramis was going to her house with Imani every morning on the way to drop Imani off at school. And he was bringing um, Imani a drink. He was bringing my mother a green drink. And he would tell my mom, I love you, Granny. And he would give her a kiss, and he would tell her, if there's anything you need, let me know. And I just told Aramis, I said, Aramis, let me know. Now, this was a Saturday before he passed. I said, Aramis, let me know if you need me to pull up on you with some good, nutritious food. And then I wrote salad, and I had a little salad emoji. Because he tells me I should open up a salad restaurant, I could kill the game. He loved, he loved my salads. And then I just told him, my heart, in my phone, Samuel's telephone number saved under heart. And I said, my heart feels as if there's possibly heaviness in your heart and soul. And in my phone, Hermes' contact is listed under soul. And Hermes says, no, mom, I'm a one. <laughs> That's what he would always tell me. No matter what was happening, he always told me, no, mom, I'm a one, because he didn't want me to worry. Hermes is very stoic ever since a boy. Pain did not phase him. He took it like a champ, you know? And he says, I'm grateful. I have a studio again. I'm just happy and ready to work. I'm very proud of my son. My son, Hermes Joseph Askedom, was a great man. On the past Christmas, I drove Hermes to an address on 6th Avenue on the other side of Southwest Drive, just a short distance from my mother's home to drop him off and pick up some ATV-type vehicles. Hermes was so happy and he felt so free riding the vehicles up and down Fifth Avenue. And he told me, Mom, this feels so great. I wish that I would have done this sooner. All of the cares of the world were lifted off of him for that moment in time. And his spirit was free, like a little child's spirit, right? Hermes liked thrilling rides at amusement parks. And so, I'm not really sad because Spirit had already prepared me for that which was coming. I wish that Shell Gas Station would release the videotape of my interaction with the police officer when I went to the shop and he told me that the person who had been shot was Nipsey Hussle. I was in complete composure and total peace, you see, because I had been walking to my spiritual drumbeat that whole weekend. I made my green drink, I made my vegan meal, I made my herbal tea. And I even sat down with my feet up on the chair across from me and I was talking to my cousin on the telephone. And one of the last things that I said to her is, Belinda, the world that we live in is so wicked 
and evil. I feel so sad and I'm so troubled and it's so very tragic that our children and our grandchildren are inhabiting this type of world. And I told her, I really, I really don't know what the answer is. I really don't know, but I think, I think that the only way to overcome the darkness is to be a light.